Hey guys, how's it going? This is the fifth day. I've been playing hardcore solo cell found on the ruthless mode. I got to level 87. I'm still maintaining my rank one higher offense, but soon to be taken over, I guess. By so there is this player that went from level like 70 something to 86, almost 87, which is my level right now. So I guess I'm losing to some meta skills soon, but it is expected. I was farming labyrinth and uh, trying out some. Firestorm, which isn't the best skill, uh, you know, speed wise to level up, but it is what it is. So actually yesterday I forgot to show you my Atlas. So let me show you real quick what I'm trying to do. So since alchemy arps are very scarce and ruthless, I try to go for, you know, essences so I can roll, I can drop, you know, white items and then roll them to get something useful, some rare items out of those good bases. So the scepters, the 40% elemental um, percentages, I'm trying to roll over those scepters with essences. And uh, as you can see, I got every single essence wheel besides, well, this one is an exception because uh, it only makes things difficult. So I only got to the first point, which is chance to contain an essence, which is the utility I'm looking for. When I'm doing maps, I want to find the, the maps with essences and there is a chance that the essence is going to be of a higher tier, like a screaming or uh, even higher than screaming. And so, uh, yeah, those essences are really, really premium and uh, very good for crafting. So I'm looking for essences and I also tried out Ultimatum, but it turns out to be very rippy. So it's, in, you know, insanely rippy and uh, this is hardcore. So. Um, I'm removing points now from ultimatum every time I, I drop the regret orb from the atlas tree I'm trying to remove all the ultimatum stuff to grab the small nodes those nodes here that have increased map found uh, chance in your map so this is actually rather uh, very useful because I feel like I'm not be you know I'm not being able to sustain tier 6 plus maps usually just lower than tier 6 which is uh white maps and uh, they don't give any exp at all so i'm trying to farm the yellow maps and uh, for that reason i'm grabbing all the small nodes and so yeah there is no plan in grabbing the big wheels here just the map drop chance which is what i want um after all i'm just you know my goal is just uh, level 90 i don't have any other specific goal in this league so we'll see uh right now i'm level 87 as i said uh 11 into level 87 it's starting to get really slow so i really need to farm the yellow map the you know tier 6 plus so yeah that's that so this is my tree um grabbed all the essences that i could and uh now i'm removing the ultimatum i have one extra point here to put somewhere else the map drop chance probably um so yeah now i'm gonna show you some gameplay because i actually my gear has not changed at all from yesterday so the only good thing here that I can say is that my Firestorm is almost level 20. So I got plus one from my weapon. So it's going to be at level 21 fire, uh, Firestorm, not Fireball. And uh, so yeah, more damage. More damage means easier map clear in tier 6 plus. So that's really good. All right, let's run a map here real quick. So City Square tier 8. Let's transmute real quick. And uh, okay, that's pretty good. Let's do it. So yeah, this uh, this boss, the map in this, you know, the boss in this map is uh, incredibly difficult to fight actually because it's like three bosses and they have um, really big fire damage. So I'd say it's rather uh, scary to fight this boss, but I always kill the boss because they have a higher chance to drop, you know, rare items. So maybe a map drop tier 6 plus, hopefully. And uh, so yeah, that's that. These mobs are really tanky because of the endurance charge. By the way, I'm really enjoying the Enduring Cry, which is the war cry I'm using to get more uh, life regeneration when I am in a rough situation. I can always, you know, it's kind of like activating a flask in some sense. You get this extra defense for uh, one second, which is, uh, I think it heals for 
it's healing for uh, 1852 life over one second which is pretty huge and it's still level uh, i think it's 16 or so so four more level to go which means about uh, 2000 life per second i guess on level 20 something like that so yeah enduring cry is pretty good even though you know i always have three endurance charges so the endurance charge is not really uh, i don't get anything per se from endurance charges uh from warcry besides i think it's two percent physical damage reduction per endurance charge and that's pretty much it but overall i'm only using it for the life regeneration that's that okay this guy is a bit strong he has um inferno boats so yeah hence why i use the ruby flask as you can see on the first my first flask here is the ruby flask because fire damage is too strong in this game so yeah i think the the worst elemental uh damage to fight against is fire too many things that can um shotgun or you know deal very big damage so this guy is here uh, i think i believe this is uh, also fire damage they are kind of scary if you get to you know take many hits in a row so and same as the flame harbinger as i've been saying in the past few videos the flame harbinger is insanely strong as well so you gotta use a ruby flask i feel i think the boss is somewhere in the middle here so gotta pay attention and to play it safe actually i'm going to just summon my golem which is i think level 19 or so and uh, i'll kite the boss so yeah let's kite the boss here so this guy actually hits for no damage, I believe. Let's see. I think I can face tank this guy really quickly. Yeah, this guy is uh, much easier to kill. But the, uh, what is it? There is someone there with a fire damage, which is very dangerous. I think it, it's this guy here. He has some fire damage. Yeah, this guy here is very dangerous. I think it's fire damage, I'm not sure. This guy also has fire damage. So it's two bosses with fire damage, plus one that is uh, just physical. I'm gonna kite. I don't really wanna get hits here. Well, it feels like I can dodge the hits. Feels like so. Okay, it's actually rather easy if I just do this, which is pretty much kiting. Um, yeah, pretty easy. All right, that's that. So these items are level uh, item level seventy-seven, which is uh, pretty huge. Because I believe uh, about this level, um, I can, you know, get higher rolls on the Void Scepters, which have 40% uh, increased elemental damage as an implicit modifier. And so I can roll them with my essences if I do have a useful essence, which is actually pretty difficult to find. The Screaming uh, tier plus essences are very difficult to drop, even though I have full investment on essences so that's that that's the ruthless experience i guess i'm not sure if Ruth, uh, ruthless have has any you know anything to do with getting just low tier essences everywhere but i guess it does because on the normal path of exile when i invest into essences usually i find a whole bunch of screaming plus essences but it's not happening on uh ruthless which I, I believe it's uh it's okay it's fair because it's supposed to be harder so i guess it is harder so that's that okay this guy has uh what is it fire resistance oh no okay it's just tanky yeah as you can see fire damage is crazy this guy has no damage modifiers and his Chunking me for like 800 damage. Yeah, something like that. And I have 81% by the way. 81% uh, fire resistance. So it's crazy damage. And extremely tanky as well. So that's that. Has everything.
All right, life tap. I don't have it. That's. I think life tap is okay. If you don't have mana, because it, I think it's um, it's kind of like blood's magic, right? But for a specific skill, pretty useful. Not for my character, but yeah. Okay, I got 1% doing this map, so 1% EXP. I don't know how people are getting 30 million EXP per hour doing this, uh, you know, farm on level 87 to 88. I don't know how they do it, actually. Maybe red maps? Maybe I should try red maps if I, you know, do the the bosses. Um, I haven't done any of the, the big bosses yet. Just uh, the Maven, uh, the first, you know, tier of the crucible which is just three bosses at the same time i think the next tier is like six bosses or whatever so i'm preparing for that um and uh yeah hopefully i can in three four days i can run red maps if i am able to survive so we'll see and maybe i even you know i can even try okay i think the map is pretty much clear six monsters left all right uh, so, as I was saying, maybe I can get the Meteor version of Firestorm, which is much stronger against single targets. So, yeah, I think that, uh, you know, that's my next goal. So, all right. Oh, the shield is pretty good, actually. Chance to avoid elemental ailments. Hmm. But no Chaos Resistance though, my Chaos Resistance is uh, really scarce and it's coming from the shield too, so I cannot swap out the shield. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys enjoy this type of videos, just, you know, um, adventures on Ruthless Hardcore Solo Cell Founds type videos, then uh, don't forget to thumbs up and uh, subscribe and if you have any question uh, that is related to, you know, higher offense or playing with Firestorm or whatever, you can um, you know, feel free to comment or ask a question or whatever. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys then next video. Bye-bye.